Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lab we will write our first manifest and in next lab we will apply the manifest. So let's take a look of user resource and its attributes. Ensure, the basic state that the object should be in. Home, the home directory of the user. The directory. Password, the user's password, in whatever encrypted. Shell. The user's login shell. The shell must exist. UID, the user ID, must be specified numerically. So let's create a add user.pp and add attributes. User, John. Ensure. Home Password Shell and UID Now add values for these attributes. Ensure, present Home slash home slash John Password we will add the password and next step. Shell, slash bin slash bash. UID, 510. OK, so we have created user resource, and attributes has been assigned to user resource. So let's move on to package resource, add resource. Package, open SSH server. Ensure equals greater than installed. Next add a file resource as file slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. Now add attributes. Ensure, present. Owner, root. Group, root. Content equals greater than here I will copy the content of any existing server. Next add the service resource as service sshd ensure equals greater than running For file resource we will add a notifier relationship meta parameter as notify service sshd so with this notify relationship whenever there will be a change in file sshd service will get refreshed due to notify relationship now let's generate the password for the user john run command open ssl password hyphen 1 and provide your password this command will provide you the encrypted password which you can define in your manifest file. So put this encrypted password as password attribute value. Ok so now we have configured our manifest for user resource for package resource for file resource including content of the file and for service resource we have also formed the notify relationship between file and service resource. Now save the file. Here I will rename this file to first manifest as this file is not limited to end user only. 
Alright so we have configured our first manifest file. Ok, so in this lab we written our first manifest and in next lab we will apply the manifest. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.